In our previous lesson, we looked at the problem of finding a repeated item within a given input array. A closely related task and something that you will actually use in your real day job is the task of removing all the duplicates from a given input array. And in this lesson, we will look at a naive solution along with an efficient solution that uses a neat JavaScript syntax. So let's go. Permission, should you choose to accept it, is to take an input array of any type, type T, and return an output array with all of the duplicated items removed. Here's just an example of what we want this function to do. Given this input array of numbers, it should remove all duplicates and the only duplicate over here is the number 1 and you can see that it is present only once within the output array. Right now we just have the scaffold for this particular function and you can think for a solution if you want to. Now a quick simple solution and a naive one at that is to loop through the items in the input array one by one and then for each item First of all, check if you've already added it to the array, and if we have, then continue. Otherwise, add this item to the array as this is the first time we've seen it and we haven't found any duplicates for this particular item. Now, what makes this a naive solution is the fact that we are looping through all of the items in the input array, and then we are essentially looping again within the function that is result includes. This will actually go through all of the items that we currently have in the result till it finds one that matches. This results in an overall time complexity of O of n square. We can definitely do better than that. And the answer lies in the set data structure. The set data structure is essentially designed to make sure that the items are unique. So we replace our array based implementation with one that uses the set data structure. In this implementation, we still loop through all of the input items. However, we simply add them to the set, and if it's a duplicate, the set data structure will automatically ignore the duplicate. Finally, now that we have a set, we have to convert it back to an array, and the simplest way to do that is to use the built-in array.from function, which can be used to convert any array-like structure into a true JavaScript array. Now, as for the time complexity of this particular implementation, we are looping through all of the items still, so that's O of n, but within the loop, there is O of 1, because result.add is an O of 1 operation, resulting in overall O of n. Now a neat thing about the JavaScript set data structure is that you can pass in an input array to the set constructor and the constructor will essentially loop through that input array and add all of those items uniquely to the set. Now there is no point in creating a variable if you're only going to use it once, so we're going to inline the set constructor. Now one final tweak that we are going to make over here is to utilize the fact that in addition to array.from, JavaScript provides an alternative way for creating an array from any given iterable. And that syntax is known as a JavaScript spread syntax. We create a new array and then we spread in our set iterable into this array. And this is the final array that we will return. The set will take the input items, convert them into a unique collection of items. And then we will iterate over this unique collection and we will add them into a new array, which we will finally return. As coding interview questions go, removing duplicates from a given input array is a pretty easy one to solve, but then again many programming challenges are if you've seen a decent solution. And that's all for this lesson, thanks for watching, smash that like and subscribe, turn your thoughts into comments and I will see you in the next one.